Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to my 22nd Python 3 tutorial. Now, today I'm going to be showing you guys about file input and output. And pretty much what that is is uh, saving uh, information to a file or reading it from a file. And the reason why this is so important is because when you create a program and you know you have uh, different information um, that that is stored in the program, um, pretty much what's happening is all the, the variables and objects and stuff like that are being stored in the RAM, which is kind of like the short-term memory of your computer. So whenever you exit the program, that gets uh, erased. And the way to get around that is to use file input and output. And what you can do is save your whichever you know certain information that you want. You can save that to a file which is stored on the hard drive so it doesn't get erased when you close your program. And then you can access it at a later time in a different program. So the way that you do that is you first have to create a file object and from there you can um, choose to read from the file or write to it. So all right, so the first thing we gotta do is create a file object. So let's do that. I'm gonna name my file uh, object out file because I'm gonna be writing to it this time. Um, and then the assignment operator and we're gonna use a method called open. This, this open method creates a file object. Um, now let's Python know that you are creating a file object. And you can see here, these are the um, parameters that it has. And um, this first one, file, is the only one that's necessary. The other ones all have default you know, values. And um, we're actually not going to be worrying about these last two, buffering and encoding. Um, now we have to provide file, and then mode is important as well. So let's go ahead and create a file. This is just going to, I'm just going to name mine output. And I'm going to make it a text file. And you do have to include the dot and then whatever file type. Um, for now, we can just work, work with text, and that will be perfectly all right. And this mode, you, you can choose. There's, different, there's a bunch of different types of modes. Um, well, there's reading, which is this R, writing, which is W, which is what we're going to use, and then appending as well, and that's an A. And that's if you uh, have already written to a file and you want to add stuff to it or append stuff. That's why it's called appending. It's pretty basic, really easy to remember, so we're going to use a W because that's for writing. We're also going to put a T on the end, and what that is telling Python is that you are writing in text mode. There's also a binary mode and uh, different modes like that. Um, but for right now, we're only going to be writing in text mode um, because we're just going to be writing text to the file. So there is the method, and if we hit enter, we've now created a um, file object. As you can see right here, it's actually a text IO wrapper, um, which is the name of the file class. So now let's go ahead and, um, and write to this file. And the way that you do that is a method uh, called write. It's pretty, uh, pretty easy to remember. And pretty much what you do is in in the parentheses as your uh, parameter, you just put in whatever you want to write. So I can be like the knights who say knee. Alright? And so I wrote that. And then um, it also, when you, when you do this in Python shell, uh, it'll give you a number, which is how many characters this is. Um, it won't output that if you're, you know, in a program. If, if this is all being, if this is done in a program and you just run it, this won't be outputted. Um, then what we can also do is we can write some more stuff. And actually, one thing you have to be you have to be careful about is if I do it like this, if I just you know put in some text, this would append it right onto this one that I wrote earlier. It does not um, automatically insert a new line, so you'd have to do that automatically. So make sure uh, if you want it to be on a new line you have to put this uh, backward slash n, which is the new line sequence. And I can even put in another one right here and some more text. And then hit enter, and we wrote some more, and you can see it gives us the character count. And now, let's say I'm done writing to this file. I don't want to write anything else to it. I can go outfile.close. Make sure you close it. Um, when you're done with it, because if you don't, 
you can't, you won't be able to uh, delete the file later. It'll still be open. It'll still be using RAM. So just make sure that you close the file when you're done with it. And uh, now what we can do is we can actually go ahead and look at this file because it's a file, it's a physical file, and it has text in it that you can look at. So let's go ahead and if you go into your Python folder, which I've got open over here, it should be in your C drive. If you go into that, uh, you can find it. It's just called output. So if you go ahead and open that up, you can see we got the text that we wrote. The nights you say knee, some text, some more text. We wrote that and now it's there. And even if I restart Python shell and you know if I typed an out file, it'd be like I don't know what out file is, but this output um, you know text file, text document is still there. So again it's saved on the hard drive, not the RAM. And now let me show you how to read from uh, files. And that's very, very similar to writing from the files. Um, so let's create the object. And I'm going to name it in file this time because it's, I'm reading it in. And go ahead and use that open method again. And make sure that you put the correct file name. And it has to be, um, when you're reading, it has to be a file that exists in the search directory of Python, Python search directory. Because if it doesn't, let's say I did like, um, outpa.txt and then I wanted to do it in reading this R, remember R is for reading mode and then the T for text again. If I did this it can't find it. Now if I had done this and I had done WT it would just create that text document um, but as it is it won't do that so make sure you spell it right, make sure it's in the search directory and now if I, since I spelled it right uh, it doesn't give me an error. So now what you do to read uh, from the file is in file.read. It's pretty much uh, just like in file, out file.write. Very easy. And you can see it'll read it. Now it'll read it with the new line characters um, because this is just returning it. Um, and it's not, it's not using the print function. And so to do that, you would have to do print in file.read. Now this won't actually work you can see that it gives me this blank, it gives me nothing. And the reason it gave me nothing is because it had actually already read it. And there's an imaginary cursor um, when you use file input and output. There's this imaginary cursor that moves. So when you read it, and, and when you first open it, it's at the beginning of the file. But when you use the read um, method, it'll move this imaginary cursor to the end of the file. So after this line up here, it was at the end of the file. And then when I tried using it again, um, it had nothing left to read. Um, and there's actually a way to move the cursor back and I will show you that in my next tutorial. But for now what I can do is I can just um, I can just close this real quick and then open it up again. And so what I can do is something like uh, text equals in file dot read and now this uh, up here is saved in the text variable. And I can print text and there you go that is exactly what this output was you can see nice to say knee some text some more text and that's what's stored in here so now uh, that's pretty much all that I have to uh, show you in this tutorial about file input and output so remember let's make sure that we close uh, that file again um, we don't want to leave it open and uh, so yeah, I showed you how to create a file object using this open method. Make sure this, make sure you provide the uh, file name because that's important. And uh, make sure not to forget the file type as well. Uh, you need that to create a file. And then there's also writing mode, which is this W, and writing or reading mode, which is the R. You know, it's pretty easy to remember. Um, and then there's the text mode. There's also different modes, but uh, you don't need that just to write, um, you know, just to output strings into the file. And so again, writing, all you have to do is you the object name, dot write, and then whatever you want to write. And then reading, it's just dot read. But remember, it'll re when you read it, it'll return the, uh, the string, just the literal string, including the new line characters. Um, so it'll give you the slash n. So if you want to output that nicely, you have to do the print and in file dot read. And again, I will show you in my next tutorial how to uh, move the cursor back so you can go back to the beginning and you don't have to close it and then open it up again. 
But for now, that's all I've got for you in this tutorial, and I'll see you next time.